Well, we're going to talk about the three C's in ABC. Does it, oh, it's not moving. This is not good. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm using a Mac. I know it's different. <laughs> so it's a learning curve here. Okay. So when we say, let's see here, it's still not. I don't know how to get it to move forward. Try using um, your space bar. Oh, you uh, muted yourself, sorry. How about uh, using, you need to unmute yourself. Okay. Try, try using the down arrow. There, it wasn't working, but now it is good. Okay, does anybody know what ABC means in business? Just unmute always yourself be, and say. How about always be closing? Absolutely, <laughs> always be closing. So that's what we're gonna talk about with the three C's. It's part of that always be closing. Yeah. There we go. The first C is choices. Everyone has a choice. You may be the only one in the world that sells what you do or do what you do, but they still have a choice. Are they going to work with you or are they not? How do you feel about sales? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you one of those that say, I hate sales? Or you want to go, I love sales. On a scale of one to 10, 10 meaning you love sales, put it in the chat bar. Okay, I can't see the chat. So Will, will you tell me what they're saying? Richard six, Stephen Denny eight, Rhonda a three. Uh, I said an eight, Les said a five, Darlene said a 5.5. 5. Uh, <laughs> Kathy sex, so Darlene likes it just more than 50% of the time. Uh, Kathy sex did a five, Thad a two. Awesome. Well, and you can see there's a wide spectrum of whether people like sales or whether they don't. And, and when you ask someone if they're in sales, they always say, no, or many will say, no, I'm not in sales, but everyone's in sales. You have to sell something. It may be to your spouse about where you're going on vacation. It may be to a child to get them to bed, but you are always selling something. Would it help if you had inside information on how your prospect's brain works? Would that help? We're gonna talk about learning modalities. When you talk about how people learn, that will help you determine how to speak to them, what to say, how to work with them. So there's four learning modalities. This is the kinesthetic, it's the visual, auditory and auditory digital. We're gonna talk about what each one of those really mean. Kinesthetic is your sensory learning. And that's the people that learn through doing. Here's some of the, the common kinesthetic learning traits. It's they understand more when it's through a hands-on experience. They become easily bored in a classroom. They learn through movement. They'd rather have an activity rather than sitting to observe. They enjoy opportunities to learn in new surroundings by touch. They like to build things, work with their hands. They love testing. They're experiential people. So you may be a kinesthetic learner. Then there's the visual learner. They learn through what they see. Now, visual learners, they, like, they learn best when information is presented visually in a picture format. In a classroom setting, benefits from instructors who use visual aids such as films, videos, maps, charts. They benefit from information obtained from the pictures and diagrams in the textbook. Many times you'll learn those visual learners because they're the, I'll say guys most of the time, 
that don't read the instructions, they look at the pictures to put it together. And then you wonder why there's parts left at the end. They tend to look to, a, to work in a quiet room and they may not like to work in study groups. When trying to remember something, they can often visualize a picture of it in his or her mind. Uh, I thought for the longest time that I was strictly a visual. I am a mixed, I have another higher one. But what I do is when someone tells me their name, because you're trying to remember it, I always see it in my mind written out. I write it out in my mind. Okay. May have an artistic side that enjoys activities having to do with visual art and design. They may not remember verbal directions and ask to have questions or instructions repeated. And they may watch your lips closely. Next is auditory. I think that's pretty clear what that means. Oops, sorry, went back. Auditory definitely is those that are listening. They're usually better listeners. They have a good memory for spoken information. They're good public speaking abilities. They're usually eloquent. They have the strong listening skills. They excel in oral presentations and exams. They're good at telling stories. Good ability to read aloud and retain information but they're highly distracted by background noises. If you're auditory, you'll notice that you notice the little background noises when nobody else does. You're the one that picks up something that's not right on the sound. Auditory digital. You have a need to make sense of the world, to figure things out, to understand. They talk to themselves and carry on conversations with you in their mind. Often they will say they remember discussing something with you when you actually did not have that conversation. They did, however, in their mind. They learn by working things out in their mind, not, not be spontaneous as they like to think things through. Have logic play a key role in the decision process as do facts and figures. They memorize by steps, procedures, and sequences. They're slower to make decisions. And it, right now, Will, if you'll put the survey up, because I'd like you to tell me if you're kinesthetic, auditory, visual, or auditory, digital. You will take the survey. All right, I'll leave it up another five seconds. We've got 18 out of 23 votes. Okay, we're ready to jump in and tell us what you are. What is your learning modality? How do you learn? All right, I'm gonna end it and there you are. Are you able to see that now, Karen? I am, thank you. And it's interesting because when you'll, you'll see the statistics in a minute. So kinesthetic is 28% and usually kinesthetic is the lowest. Auditory is 22%, visual is 39, and auditory digital is 11. Very good, thank you. Okay, we're gonna do a breakout at this point because I want you to talk to each other, find out what the first question you're gonna answer in your breakout is what is your dominant learning modality? Is it the kinesthetic, auditory, visual, auditory, digital? And number two, what does your sales style cater to. So when you're giving your sales presentation or you're talking to someone, what does your sales style cater to? So that may take a minute to think about. Okay, well, if you'll take them away and put them in a breakout. Just got a couple minutes to do that. 